Good morning, Sagittarius. Welcome to your daily reading. Thank you so much for having the most likes and comments on your weekly video last week. Your weekly video for this week is up, so make sure you definitely go and check that out. We are pulling out our morning, afternoon, and evening energies from the Dreams of Gaia deck. We'll clarify with the Rider Waite Smith and the Next World Tarot. Keep in mind that these readings may not resonate for every Sagittarius placement. It is a general reading, so definitely check out your other placements for the weeklies. This week we are doing also for Libra and Aquarius, so feel free if you feel called to check out any of those messages. And as always, we're doing the weekly videos for all 12 zodiac signs. Here. Okay, so we have coming out for our morning energy here. We do have the Ten of Water. Okay, so this is a really lovely energy coming out. This is us really, you know, showing up as our authentic self, but really, um, you know, it's such a deep acceptance of ourself and our surroundings, just a really deep loving energy but you know this is a love that is for exactly who you are and how you are and how you show up so it's a really beautiful energy here with the ten of water it is coming out with the six of pentacles okay so this is that card of giving what you can but keeping what you need so this morning Sagittarius, I just feel us in a lovely balance here, really truly accepting life, accepting things, and enjoying ourselves, okay? Also clarifying this is the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, I am finding that we are finding ourselves in a moment of completion here because I am seeing this as two tens. We have the Ten of Water, and then we have the Four and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I really do see us leveling up, really reaching a really stable, secure place within ourselves, you know, and this is something that can't be shaken or taken, okay? Moving into the afternoon, we do have the Eight of Earth coming out in reverse. So this is really, it is that card of really being grateful for what we have. Okay, it is coming out, being clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, as well as the Three of Cups, okay? So, it does look like we really do have a stable, loving environment that we are coming into this afternoon. We may be having a hard time appreciating everything that we do have. Um, with that eight of earth in reverse. So definitely make sure that you do take the time to look around at what you have and, and really truly be grateful. With the three of cups, this is the energy of joy, okay? So this is, as they explain it in the book, a party on, the, on another planet where you are at your safest and your happiest. Okay, so really I'm finding that we're really, we're reaching this place of, you know, where our joy just comes from inside of us, okay? Now, moving into the evening, we have the Father coming out, okay? So this is, you know, that energy, that masculine energy. Okay, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, and we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this truly is a really interesting energy here. So I do feel like there is, you know, a father figure that we're dealing with, or again, this could be just like kind of the patriarchy in general. But usually, 
honestly, it'd probably be in reverse if it's the patriarchy. Um, so, but truly, I do see there is sort of this energy of a choice being made for us. You know, here with the two of air in reverse. Or, you know, this is spirit coming in and saying, you need to make a choice here, or a choice will be made for you, okay? And I feel like you're getting clarity on that with the Ace of Swords. There is a lot of potential in this energy with the Ace of Swords, okay? We have a time for healing, balsamic moon coming out over this reading. So I definitely feel that. I definitely feel like we are getting clarity about a father figure possibly in our life or a, a very masculine energy. Um, and I just feel like we are, it's really interesting here. But I do feel like this is the roots of action here with the Ace of Swords. And I do feel like we are acting on this clarity that we are getting about a situation. This could be us making the choice also. You know, this could be us finally making a choice that has to do with this father figure in our life. Okay, well, it's time for healing, balsamic moon. I'm going to leave it there. Um, Sagittarius, if this reading resonates for you at all, let me know in the comments below. Like this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you have that little bell hit so that you'll be notified when I make a new video. If you'd like to connect with me, book a personal or follow me on Instagram. Um, everything that you need is in the description box below. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. Sagittarius, I love you. Take care.